Lesson 12.2a, Finding Experimental Probability. Experimental probability is the ratio of the number of times an event occurs to the total number of trials, or number of times the activity is performed. If we roll a number cube, we want to get a 4. We perform the activity 10 times. And this is our outcome. We roll and get a 1, then a 5, then a 2. We finally get a 4, then a 2, a 3, a 5. We get another 4, then we get a 2, we get a 1. The experimental probability is 2. We got two 4s. It's the number of times we got a 4 over 10, the number of times we rolled. Experimental means related to an experiment. So experimental probability is probability based on an experiment. So here we have a color wheel spinner. There's three sections, yellow, red, and blue. We spin the spinner 10 times and record our observation in the table. We spin it and we got yellow five times, red three times, and blue two times. In this experiment, the outcomes do not appear to be equally likely. Yellow is as likely as not. We got 5 out of 10. We got 5 tenths, which is equal to 1 half. Red is unlikely. It's less than half. It's 3 tenths. And blue is unlikely. We got 2 out of 10 times, 2 tenths, which is equal to 1 fifth when we simplify. The probabilities of this experiment are yellow is 5 tenths, red is 3 tenths, and blue is 2 tenths. The sum of these probabilities is 1. We add the 5 tenths plus 3 tenths plus 2 tenths, which equals 10 tenths, which is equal to 1. Now we're going to roll a number cube. Is it possible that an event doesn't occur? If we roll a number cube for the event 2, we're trying to get 2 to be on the top. 2 could occur every time or never. We could roll and we could get a 1 twice. We could get a 2 zero times. We could get a 3 one time, a 4 three times, a 5 two times, and a 6 two times. So that would total the times we rolled the cube, the 10 times. We could roll 10 times and never get 2. We would get it 0 out of 10 times, which is equal to 0. We could also roll 10 times and get 2 each time. It's highly unlikely, but it could happen. That would be 10 out of 10 times, 10 tenths, which is equal to 1. So we could get a probability of 0 or 1. The experimental probability of an event can be 0 or 1. This spinner has five sections, and the table shows the results of several spins. We have the colors listed and the frequency that it landed on that color. What is the experimental probability of spinning each color as a fraction in simplest form, a decimal, and a percent? So we think we need the total number of spins. We need 12 plus 10 plus 9 plus 11 plus 8, which is equal to 50, for the denominator of our fraction. So for red, we've got 12, and it's out of 50 spins, it's 12 fiftieths. We need to write it in its simplest form, which would be 6 25ths. And as a decimal, it would be 24 hundredths. And as a percentage, it would be 24%. For orange, we have 10, that's 10 out of 50, or 10 fiftieths, which is equal to 1 fifth, which is equal to 2 tenths, or 20 hundredths, or 20%. For yellow, we have 9 out of 50, which is already in its simplest form, which would be 18 hundredths, or 18%. For blue, we have 11 times out of 50, that's 11 fiftieths, which is 22 hundredths, which is 22%. And for green, we have 8 out of 50, which is 8 fiftieths, which is 4 25ths, which is 16 hundredths, or 16%. Now, you might have to do a lot of converting. And remember, when converting fractions to decimals or percent, we can write the fraction to be equivalent to 100 for its denominator. When we had 11 50ths, 
Well, the 50 needs to be multiplied by 2 to be 100 for the denominator, and the numerator gets multiplied by the same thing. So we have 22 hundredths, which as a decimal is 22 hundredths and 22%. For the 8 fiftieths, again, we just need to multiply it by 2, so we get 16 hundredths, which is 16%. And if you're very, very rusty and you don't remember this, I'm going to have a link to 6th grade math, 8.2a, b, and c in this description so you can go back and do a real quick review before you move forward. And remember, when finding the percentage of a number, we can use proportional reasoning. If we need 30% of 400, well, 30% is 30 hundredths. And using proportional reasoning, we think, well, 100 times something is 400, that would be times 4, and 30 times 4 is 120. We know that 30% of 400 is 120. And I'm going to have a link to 6th grade math 8.3b in the description. Sometimes it's hard to remember what you did a year ago in the previous grade, but it doesn't hurt to do a quick review. We finish with 12.2a. We're going to move on to part b, calculating experimental probability. You can do your own experimental probability. You can take a coin and decide how many times you're going to flip it. Then flip it that number of times to see how many times you get heads and how many times you get tails and write your own ratio for experimental probability. Have a great day and join me for the second part of the lesson. Bye.